fire in the upside down chimney hole. Hey, how come the chimney's upside down? Well, because today we're using the Smokinator, baby. And the Smokinator is loaded with some apple wood and some charcoal. And we only need about 14 lit coals to get the Smokinator going. So stay tuned, we're going to Smokinate a pork shoulder. Bring you right back and show you what that's all about. Please stay tuned. Okay, so my smokinator's coming up the temp, and I've got my big old pork shoulder here, and I'm going to score his uh, fat in a kind of a checkerboard pattern with a sharp knife, because we want some of that rub to penetrate. Let's mix up our rub. The rub, three ingredients, couldn't be any simpler. First thing you got, a cup of kosher salt. That's about all the kosher salt I got. About a cup of kosher salt. A cup of sugar. Just regular old white sugar. A cup of that. Salt and sugar. If it'll come out of the container. Who knew sugar was going to give me such a problem? Come on, baby. Come out of there. Can you see that? Yeah, I think so. Ah, uh, yeah, we're getting it now. Okay, a cup of sugar and a quarter cup of ground ginger. That's going to take about all the ground ginger I have. Quarter cup of ground ginger, that's it. That's it for the rub. We're going to mix that up. And, whoa, look at that. Looks good, huh? Mix that rub up, get it like homogenized up. It's a pretty simple rub right there. Three ingredients, not much to it. Ginger, salt, and sugar. We'll get that mixed up, and uh, we'll take some of the old uh, Sang stir fry oil, and we'll slather that puppy down with it. That pork shoulder. I should have put my gloves on, but I didn't. We'll get some of this on both sides of him. While the smokinator is coming up the temp, it's at it's at uh, 200 right now. I want to get it up to 275 before we put our pork shoulder on there. I'm going to get some of this rub on there. Salt, sugar, and uh, ginger. That's all that's on it. Rub him down real good. With that, we're going to flip him over and rub the other side. Yeah, look at that. How's that look? Pretty good, huh? Okay. Let's flip him over. We can do this without losing him. Get some of that sangs on there. We're going to roast him with the fat cap up for three hours in the smoke. And then we're going to roast him the rest of the way. We're going to make pulled pork out of this. And we're going to roast them the rest of the way uh, in a pan full of beer. So uh, you hang around, you get to see all that. Let's get them rubbed down. Let that rub get on them. Look at that. Don't that look good already, huh? It's good enough to eat already. So okay, we're going to get him on the grill. And as soon as it comes up to temp with the fat cap up, he's been rubbed. He's looking good already. So uh, stay tuned, I'll show you what that looks like on the grill. All right, the pork shoulder's on the grill. The smokinator is smokinating. We're gonna cover that bad boy up and let him rock and roll for about three hours. And then I'll show you what we're gonna do after that. It involves beer. Enough said, right? Okay, stay tuned, please. Okay, my pork shoulder's been on the grill for about three hours in the smoke. And what we're going to do now is transfer him over to this pan. And there he is, looking good. How's that look? Not bad, huh? Now we're going to throw some uh, beer on him. And what I have is some Blue Moon that I got. I'm going to... Uh, Slather him down with that. And 
get him all beard up. Could call that drunken pork if you like. Looks like one bottle is going to do it. I had a, another bottle standing by. And what I'm going to do now is cover it with foil and stick him back on the grill for another five hours. And then he should be ready around that time to be pulled pork. So uh, please stay tuned and we'll drink a beer and then we'll pull some pork. And that'll be the end of the video, okay? All right, see you later. Stay tuned. Okay, at long last, it's time for the Frosty Root Boy mug. And today's beer is Leinenkugel's Orange Shandy. And uh, it says the pride of the Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. This is made in Wisconsin. And the reason I know about Leinenkugel's is uh, there's an author I love whose name is uh, John Sanford. And all the characters in his books, they're, they're in... Uh, Minnesota, and uh, they're always drinking lining kugels. And this is a lining kugels orange shandy. I guess it's got an orange flavoring to it. You know, I'm a fool for these kind of beers with orange flavoring and you know all kinds of fruit flavor. And it's a pretty, pretty nice beer. It's got a lemony color to it. Very light color. Very pretty, pretty beer. Let's take a whiff of that. See if we can detect any orange flavor. Yes, definitely. That's what I like. I like if they say it's orange, you should be able to smell the orange in it. And this is definitely smells of orange. It smells good as a matter of fact. Let's take quaff the froth off of that. What do you think, Roll? Ah yeah. That's good. It's got a real pronounced orange flavor. And you know, when you go to a bar and you order a, a Blue Moon, they put an orange slice in it. Anyway, you know, a lot of places that I've been to. But that's a nice beer. Lining Kugel's Orange Shanty. So we just had us a Liney from Wisconsin. Uh, yeah, I don't know why the people in Minnesota drink this for some reason. Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. Nice beer. It's a nice. It's got a nice flavor. Nice flavor of oranges. Okay. So let's check our uh, pork shoulder out and make us a nice sandwich with that uh, pork meat. Please stay tuned. You know, for me, the hardest part of a long, low, and slow is the waiting. <clears throat> but I think the waiting is finally over. I'm going to pull some of this pork off of here. Oh, man, look at that. And uh, I'm just going to pull some of it off and make a sandwich with it. Look at that stuff. Oh, boy. That's what you call deliciousness, right there. And you can reach on there and just pull some of that out of there. And yeah, look at that. Oh, nothing like steaming hot pulled pork. Look at that. Look at the smoke ring on that stuff. Oh yeah, look at that stuff. And I got some, uh, I got a nice onion roll. and I'm going to put a couple of slices of red onion on there. And some of this, uh, some of the badass Mexican barbecue sauce. This is you know you want it sauce. I'm going to put some of that on there. This stuff's like gold, man. It's like gold. Look at that. How's that look? Not bad, huh? Maybe we need to slather a little bit more of that on there. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe you should have put the onions underneath the meat. But I want you to be able to see that sauce. There you go. Okay. Now we're talking food porn right there. That's your food porn. Look at that. Let's take a picture of that. And we'll send it to Manuel Rios so he can see that we're eating his barbecue sauce like we should. And uh, I'm going to put a link in the description to the El Rabbit's barbecue. I'm going to take a bite of that sandwich is what I'm going to do. But uh, I want to put a link in the description to El Rabbit's Barbecue so you can order some of that sauce yourself. It's probably the best sauce, one of the best sauce I've ever tasted in my life. And it's, it's wonderful. So anyway, uh, that's the video for today. My pulled pork is done. And uh, got my sandwich. I'm going to take a bite of it in a minute as soon as I uh, take a picture of this. 
So if you like this crap, as usual, please subscribe. And if you don't, go over and see El Rabbit. Buy some of his amazing, you know you want it, barbecue sauce. And uh, you won't regret it. It's, it's one of the best sauces you've ever tasted. So uh, that's it for this week, babies. We'll see you all next week. Be good to each other. See you later.